Hello ladies, um, I'm doing a shabby vintage tag today, so um, come along and craft me. Um, so I've just chose my background that I'm going to put my base on. Um, me and Laura Bourgeois, uh, we've created our own Facebook group and it's called Shabby Soul Sisters. Uh, we'll put the link um, underneath the post and if you like shabby, if you like both either vintage or shabby or the combination on both um, we'd like you to come join our group we'd love to see you on there um, we only started it yesterday so it's all new um, but it's only to do with shabby or vintage so um, come and join us if you if you would like we'd love to see you over there um, on big lace look or I want to go for a short lace look I'm going to add bigger lace to the sides now normally I don't do these craft along videos because sometimes they go wrong sometimes they don't look right but I'm going to be brave today and just go with it and see what I create. <laughs> I can always delete the video if it doesn't go right. So yeah, we've got this um, prompt going as well on our, our page, um, which is creating a shabby vintage vibe um, tag. So if you'd like to come join us and craft along with us and they'll be doing many more. Um, we're very new to, I mean, we've been mods and kind of admins on groups before, but um, doing one ourselves is very new to us. So we're still trying to find um, a feel of the file sections and add different things there. Um, we're hoping that once we're up and properly running, we'll be able to know how to do this and add your Etsy stores and your YouTube um, links as well um, but yeah basically it's a group of us shabby soul sisters um, just encouraging and inspiring each other and trying to help each other and having fun creating shabby vintage things so um, we'll have slight banter if that's what you like to do as well cover too much of the top of the image up so just do this for now got to keep checking just to see if yeah that's fine never see what you're actually doing so it's like I have to check every so often I love doing these um, tags, it's so easy and I love black and white images as well um, with the lace. checking on my other laces here at the moment see if I've got enough to cover it 
kind of wanted to like use the old old type laces rather than the thin type laces to cover it but I think I've run out. So the background images I'm using at the moment, um, I've done a album which I will show you um, on another post. It's using uh, the Granny's Pantry Kit by Shabby Art Boutique Block um, in Handmade Club. So this is one of the papers I'm using I had spare. But I'll be doing the whole another YouTube post for that. Um, as you know, I support support her designs, absolutely love her designs and will promote her to the hilt. So <laughs> I will talk about her a lot in my videos, as you should know by now. Um, but I do like doing my own thing as well. Um, let's see how this goes. I did already do that glue in, but I'll do it again just to be sure. Let's do that too. Hello, glue stick. Bye, glue stick. I hope you can't hear my tummy rumbling. It's making weird noises. No wonder it's half past six and we ain't done tea yet. <gasps> That's what crafting does to you. So, um. But butterflies I'm going to be using is by Artemis. Um, she, you know, she's lovely. She does lots of butterflies and that. So the um, occasional ones that I have spare, I will use in my other projects. But I will still say it's from Artemis because she uh, is the one that owns them. Choose the flowers. Right, so I've got over these flowers, these flowers, I don't think they look right. All these flowers and some roses. Because she's holding daisies, I ain't going to do the tulips. But then can I do the roses? Let's have a look here. Right, so let's do these. Where's my glue? Right, I'm gonna wing it here and probably add it to where am I gonna add it to? One there. My paper don't want to eat my hair. Go away. Go away. Right. Um, should we do a rose? Let's do a rose. Who says there's no rules with daisies and roses being together? It's white. I'm using UHU glue and I haven't used it before so um I ran out of my art glitter glue, so I don't know if it's actually going to stick. Um, and if it don't stick, we'll see. I don't think it likes fabric very much. 
to one side a minute. Do not fall over glue. Right, um, and let's cut some more of these off. Right, I'm actually going to use my glue stick because I think it's going to do a better job. One, two, Right, and I was going to add the bottom. Where am I going to add the bottom to? Bottom, at the top, do the top. Right. So if none of this sticks, I am going to use a stronger glue and go over it a bit. I am not going to be too fussed at the moment. Laura um, sent me um, this beautiful trim, absolutely adorable it is, and there's a thread in there, and I am so tempted to use it on this, shall I use it, but then I just got to take away that. Do you know what? I am going to use it. Right, so if we go there, let me try it up. Right, so let's take all these off for a minute. And we will take the bottom lace off because I would use that against something else. I'm going to show you one of her tags in a minute, what she sent me as well with this trim. And she's done a beautiful fabric bag for it as well. Um, so, do that and then we'll add this to the top. And my friend, um, she, she donated me her wedding dress. And it's a beautiful wedding dress. And I feel so bad in curling it up. But they had these, she's got these lovely roses. There's loads of them on there. And I'm like, I'm not going to say no. But I do feel really bad. Um, I don't know if I have to do that side or that side. Let's do that. 